right guys, now that you've got your basic install, if you wanted to pursue a little further and look at some of the options that we do offer on the TCU, here's a quick overview of what you've got. We'll start with our single wires first. The gray wire, as you'll notice, has a tag on it that says TCC Apply. TCC for Torque Converter Control. This is a manual wire that will allow you to control the converter at the flip of a switch. So you will need to wire in some type of a on-off toggle design switch. What you can do with this wire is regardless of what state the computer is, regardless of what gear you're in, other than first gear, any forward gear, you can flip the switch and force the converter to apply. A lot of guys like this in the street rod when they're doing the low speed cruise, they're not running quite fast enough to get into overdrive with lockup, or if they do, you get that in and out effect. This wire forces the converter to lock up and get you by that so your transmission will run a little cooler. Next, you have an orange wire. This wire is labeled as Speedo Output. This wire is designed to send a speedometer signal to an aftermarket dash. Will not work with a factory GM type dash or any other factory dash, but any aftermarket dash, such as the Automator, Video, Dakota Digital, we can provide a signal that will operate and give you a proper speedometer reading on that unit. Also, you'll have a purple wire. Your purple wire is labeled as Economy Performance. In a nutshell, think of this as the tow haul button on your late model GM truck. What this wire is, is just that. It's a line pressure kick. It works off ground. Again, will run through some type of an on-off toggle design switch. At the flip of a switch, you can take your transmission from normal mode to performance mode by getting a line pressure kick straight across the board, which will allow you to hold gear longer with a firmer shift. Now to our pre-terminated ends. This is the one that gets the most common questions. It's labeled CAN Link. These are remote wireless links designed to work in two applications. One, if you opt to go with our TCU paddle shifter option. These will allow you to wirelessly communicate with your paddle shifter, which will give you manual control over the forward gears. These CAN links are also a great feature if you're running our sister company, Fast Fuel Injection, as their Easy EFI 1.0 and 2.0 systems are both CAN enabled to where you can remotely link to get your tag signal and your TPS signal so you don't have to hardwire anything. Next, you'll notice the manual shift option. Manual shift is just that. These wires are wires you can wire in to give you a flip of a switch, put the transmission in manual mode. Now once you're in manual mode, this hand shifter must be in the overdrive position. The transmission will start in first gear and will not change until you supply ground to one of the other buttons. One for upshift, one for downshift. So if you don't want to use the paddle shifter, all you need is two momentary bump switches. You can have a manual paddle shift option at your fingertips. The other common question is about our speedometer control unit label. This is only designed and you will only use if you're using TCI's speedometer control unit. This is a box that is designed to take your electronic signal from your transmission and power up and run an old school cable operated dash. So if you want to maintain your factory dash with a cable drive unit, we can still make that speedometer work with an electronic signal coming out of the transmission. If you have any other questions, feel free to call us 888-776-9824 or as always, stop online, tciauto.com.